Hey guys, welcome back to Barovian May. Today we are going to be making some storage and also a little box for my brand new Surface Planer to stand on. Yes, as you might have saw in a previous video of doing the bar project, I broke my Surface Planer. But luckily, someone in my local area was flogging one off for 160 quid. Uh, it was pretty much brand new, uh, so pretty good steal and also the guy give me quite a few other little, little bits and bobs for free so if you're watching this video thank you i will take every tool i can for free uh, but right now we're going to be building a little stand for it because one of the things i didn't like was wrestling the surface planer around everywhere i've recently made a little table in the back of my workshop for things to be able to slide under and i can put stuff on top of so i'm trying to make this at the perfect height so it can slide under there but also be comfortable to use and also i'm always up for a little bit of extra storage in the shed i am i don't know if any of you guys know this but my shed's a mess quite a lot of the times if you can have a quick look in the background you can see a lot of things just don't have a home so making a few shelves and a little box for things to sit in it's always welcomed here and also uh this thing's going to be on casters as well so i'll be able to fling it around my workshop no matter where i want it to be and uh do all the surface planing I can. So anyway, I'm rambling here. What I'm what I'm doing here is I've just got some 18 mil ply left over from a previous project. Uh, well, from the bar top project actually. I had to buy a whole sheet of plywood just to use a little bit of it. So I thought I'm going to get my money's worth here. I'm going to make a little box out of it. And I also have been stripping down quite a lot of uh, old oak furniture that I've got on Facebook Marketplace. If you want me to make a video about how to find good cheap lumber for free, if not, you know, a little, quite cheap, uh, I can make a little video of me going into it and how I do it and stuff. But uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. Aren't I? Anyway, let me know in the comments if you want to see a video about how I how I managed to get free oak and stuff like that. But anyway, from stripping down all those bits and bobs, I've gotten quite a bit of hardware. So I'll be using up a lot of that hardware on here. And as you can see, one of the drawers that I've gotten from something that I stripped down, I'm going to be using in this project. As you can see, I made it a little bit too small, so I'm just going to put another bit of 18 mil ply in there just to take up the gaps up. Then I've got some little thin strips of oak, a little off cuts that I'm going to use as uh, runners, I think you call them. Yeah, just little wooden runners. I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm not inlaying them. I'm just going to put them on the side, nail them in. Uh, well, this thing's just just for the uh, workshop, isn't it? Doesn't have to look fancy or be nice. Just has to function and work. So we're just getting these drawers in. I've got enough room to fit two drawers in here and a very, very thin, small drawer at the very top. And as you can see, works like a charm. Uh, I will have to go back around and oil this up at some point just so it's not sticky, if you know what I mean. When you're in a workshop, especially if you're in a huff and you want to quickly just grab something, uh, you want things to be able to slide out and you don't want to have to wrestle with drawers and stuff. So... I will go back around at some point and wax them up. Uh, they're still not waxed in my shed, actually. This this project's been made uh, since the time of me editing this. It's been made for about a week and uh, used it plenty. Still haven't waxed it yet, but the drawers are going fine. So I don't think there's any rush to do it. Oh, God, I'm rambling again. Sorry, I'm I'm in a very rambling mood today, guys. But yeah, got some more ply. Just making this little shelf to sit on the top here. I've made the lip where it sticks out. A little bit taller than the rest so it catches on the actual plywood because the scrap wood that i had it wasn't big enough so it, the drawer would have just fell right through to where i wouldn't be able to grab it so I made a little lip so it stick out a little bit so it can't get pushed too far back in and here i have the hinges uh that i got from stripping down one of the uh, units that i got on facebook marketplace uh just to loop back around the whole Facebook Marketplace stuff, the, what do you call it? there is a lot of things to look out for. Uh, you know, bad things and good things, what do's and don'ts to what what to grab and not what not. Uh, I recently talking to another wo woodworker in my area. He gave me a bunch of tips on advice about how to get really nice lumber for really dirt cheap. And I'm always up for that. So I'm happy to share that information if you guys want to hear about it. But yeah, I just got these casters now. And also, the thing about these casters, I bought them from Tool Station. Tell me why the casters with locks on them are cheaper than just the normal casters. Because I went there, wasn't looking at prices or anything like that. I just asked them, I need two casters with locks on and I need 
two casters without locks on, thinking that the casters without locks on would be cheaper. But obviously, I don't want this thing sliding around the workshop, so I need some locks on them. I looked at my receipt after I left. They're cheaper. Why are they cheaper? There's more moving parts to them. If I knew they were cheaper, I would have got four of them with lock with locks on. I don't have to use every single lock every time I lock them. But anyway, we live and learn. If you want to go to buy casters and stuff like that, buy buy the ones where they got locks on all of them, especially if you're on a tool station or something, because it'll just be cheaper. They're only like fifty pence or so cheaper, but still. Anyway, uh, uh, that that was just really surprising to me. I thought I'd share, but yeah, I'm having to use different size screws for these. I've got 40 mil screws here going straight down in because this will go through one layer of plywood and into the walls. But the ones on the inside, obviously, on one side it's a door, the other side it's a drawer, and the other side it's just empty space. So if I were to put those screws in, it'd just go straight through and everything would lock up. Uh, so I came back around and I used 10 mil screws for those two holes. But I wanted these casters to be as strong as possible because there's going to be a lot of weight on them. So I used the longer screws where I could. But yeah, and also, these are my mother's screws. Don't tell her I'm using them. Uh, <laughs> they're only a couple of quid, but I figured, what's the point in going out and buying screws when I have a box of my mother's screws? So I'll just nick hers instead. But yeah, just putting the last caster on now. Uh, I've been debating whether to paint this thing or not. I don't know if you've noticed in the background and lately with my other videos, but I painted my workshop black. I'm trying to increase the production value of... Uh, my, my videos and stuff have been doing a lot more research into it and stuff and I'm, i think i'm slowly implementing things i don't want to quickly just go like you know clip my clip my fingers and up the production value because one uh you know you guys my audience you're used to seeing videos a certain way from me so i don't want to completely change and scare you guys off but i also don't want to get my head flustered with trying to do a million things at once and then not be able to be myself and not make an entertaining video. So I decided that the first stage in making better quality videos is having a better quality background, making things look nicer, focusing more on lighting and stuff like that. So once I've got my lighting and everything dialed in, uh, then I'm going to start moving on to more editing and things like that, learning how to do better edits. Uh, whether I should talk to the camera in person or do like what I'm doing now and rambling over a voiceover. Maybe writing some scripts so I can include jokes and stuff like that. So, yeah, hopefully in the next coming months and stuff, you'll see this channel slowly start to transition into more quality content. Uh, since this is something I want to do full time one day. and But I also still want to keep it as what I originally set out to just be a woodworker having fun and sharing my experience along the way. Uh, this woodworking channel has been basically ever since I started woodworking. I mean, I was woodworking for a few months before I started this YouTube channel, but pretty much this whole YouTube channel is like document documenting my journey from start to finish. And uh, if if you if you just stumbled on my channel for the first time. Don't worry, I make a lot more quality things than this. This is just a bit of storage and somewhere to put my surface planer uh, for the workshop. <laughs> I, I don't make my furniture look like this. My furniture looks a lot better. But yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. Turns out I must have measured something wrong. Uh, so I ended up having to bump the height up a little bit, another inch. Well, I didn't have to bump the height up, but I wanted to get it as tall as possible so it's comfortable to use a surface planer but i still want it to slide underneath that uh little table thing i have in the background so yeah that's what i did i'm not quite sure what to even call this video you know i think i'll just call it talk talking shop building surface planer stand or something because uh i didn't really know what to really talk about in this video because everything that i'm doing in the video is sort of like self-explanatory isn't it you're not going to be watching this video if you're not, you know, a woodworker with your own shop, if you know what I mean. So I'm just having a nice little ramble while my little project is going on in the background. But if the, if this is your first time watching my channel, go ahead and look at all the other videos I have. Uh, there's much, much better videos out there where I'm making actual decent looking furniture 
well, it's a decent looking video, great looking furniture, and uh, giving tips and tricks along the way that I've learned myself. So, yeah, this video is just a, a little run, a little laid back video of where I'm just talking into the microphone while uh, doing a bit of woodworking in the background. So yeah, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this. It's uh, a lot different from my other videos. It's just a laid back one, but stick around. More projects coming soon.